Welcome everyone to our first look at Community Inc, which has just dropped into Alpha today. I do believe anyone can sign up and download it. I will pop the link to their website in the description. Uh, the game has been published by Tiny Build that bring games uh, such as Hello Neighbor. Not a game that I've covered personally, but I am aware of it. Um, but the developer is T4 Interactive. I think this is one of their first games um, from what I've seen. So it's kind of like a city building sort of game. And it says here, a company. So a company, Community Inc. So we're currently in the tutorial because I've literally just downloaded it. So I thought we'll go through this and it'll give us a chance to kind of go through all the different things um, bit by bit before we kind of jump into any kind of uh, series. But just bear in mind, this is alpha. There will be things broken. <laughs> there will be things missing. So yeah, we'll just have to kind of keep that in mind as we do it. So we we are classed as a manager, so we must complete eight goals in 30 days. So we will have a good community to sell. This is interesting. So <laughs> whatever we build, we seem seems like we're going to sell it. But during this tutorial, we will not need to do this. Just follow my instructions. So we're going to hire some workers, and they're going to produce some items to use inside the village, which kind of sounds normal. So we're probably like creating tools and things like that. Um, so the, the speed is going to be slow, but um, you can pause the game with number one, normal speed is number two, and three is the fastest speed, and you can kind of see them up here. So I can I can change that anyway, and I can't save the game, <laughs> which is fine, because it's a tutorial. It's very quick. I've just done this one just be, uh, before recording, just to kind of get a feel for it. So we're going to hire our first worker, which is down here on this uh, UI uh, menu. There's a lot of UI menus going on. I don't know if you can move them or not yet. Um, but um, yeah, just it's not too bad. It's you know it's not too cumbersome. I'll, I'll as I kind of work my way through them, I'll, I'll figure out a little bit more whether I like them as they are or not. Um, so we got our first worker. They already start with the build profession. I think they can have more than one profession from what I've seen. Um, they'll always come as a male or a female one. They are all great at working. I think T4 Interactive. I think they're from Brazil. So some of this, I think there's some kind of weird. I wouldn't say spelling mistakes, but just the word in it, it's a little bit weird. Um, I mean, just for example, they will always come as a male or a female. I mean, I suppose they could be <laughs> other things, but yeah. So we'll stick with that. So we just got the basic uh, controls, and it's just saying, obviously, I can go through those. I mean, it is quite a pretty game. When you actually look at it, it's not too bad. Um, so we have 30 days in each month. Um, so we've got different weathers as well. So it's going to ask us to look at the map. Sorry, it's not the map, the calendar. So we've got different things. So sun, rain, snow. Um, so different different times are going to kind of require different things. So the night's always cold, so we're going to need fires. Uh, rain and snow, they'll be cold. So you're going to have to do better clothes and things like that. So I guess much like Banished and uh, Forest Village, that I obviously play more often than not, you do need these sort of things and your people are called lings i guess that's um, kind of a take on earthlings almost so oh, it's not gonna let me close that so we currently have thursank and we can click on this person and it's got oh i won't read through all these but it's got a whole wealth of knowledge there we go let me pause the game for a second so what i really like about this is we can rename them i won't do it until we actually do the series so there's three tutorials and then we'll go on um, to make a, a little series that kind of go through this alpha. So anyone that wants um, to be named after one of the links, just drop a comment in the description. A comment in the description. I'm already thinking the beginning of my video, but <laughs> yeah, if you want to be named as one of the links, just try to drop a comment and I'll do that. But you can see there's all sorts of different stuff. Does this work while I'm paused? No, I guess the UI is locked at the moment. But there's different traits, and we'll, we'll have a look at those in a second. So we're going to make this person a lumberjack. And if if the game will allow me, there we go. So it, it gives you this kind of this god uh, light shaft around the person that you're using. So we're going to tell Lem to harvest trees and it says at least three. So we can just select three random trees. And he will automatically go and do that without um, any interaction from us now because we've told him what to do. So now it wants us to hire another Ling. And this person, because they're just classed as a builder, and we've not given them anything else to do, 
they will run over there and they will start <laughs> kind of start picking up the logs just behind them so just a basic laborer can I bring up here we go so while that's happening so we've got a scholar links with this trait will receive more XP while working but not fighting born leaders will always start with level 3 in any new profession so there's different levels of each profession so we've got a level 1 builder and a level 3 lumberjack but it's interesting he doesn't start as a level 3 builder you kind of think that and they haven't got a trait there so it calculates how much it can resist to sickness and cold so you see again when we talk about the word it calculates how much it can resist I'm guessing it's, re it's referring to the ling so it should be kind of he or she maybe um, acts as a variable for everything that needs management and thinking and calculates how much health points it has and how much melee damage it can give I guess they've, they've put it because they don't want to put he she so and then we've got the different clothes we've got the axe which is what, what they're currently working poison sickness um, go to the bed if, uh, go to the bed of this ling if there is one okay so we haven't actually oh, thought some logs I got a new job I can't wait to start working so it's kind of cool it's, there's lots of little um, kind of neat things in here and you can see the other ling is picking up all the logs let's speed the game up to get that done I've currently set the game to um, maximum settings that are available. Um, I limit to 30 FPS just for the recording, but um, you can see down here the FPS counter. That does actually go through the roof, so it does seem fairly optimized at the moment. Right, so it's now going to ask me to build a, I think it's a crafting station, a worker bench, there we go. So we're going to drop that in, and the builder's going to come along and do that once they've stopped hauling. There we go, are you going to do it? There we are. So it's not the original uh, build that's going to do that, it's the other one. There is some text above the person's head. It's the... That was hard to read. Can we pause the game? Does would that? I can't click on that one unfortunately. Or can I when it's not paused? No. I'm guessing that's... Pro oh, there you go. Yeah, I don't have a, a problem with it too. So they actually have conversations. I didn't quite see what the other person said. Will that be under... Oh, it's not letting me touch it. Okay, that's fair enough. It's going to be awkward. So there are five categories for crafting. Food, healthcare, crafted goods, furnishing, and combat. So these, these are obviously refined materials. So we've, we've got logs, and now we're going to make some wood plates. I'm guessing that's making... Oh, that's the full value is $4. Used in buildings, weapons, and many furnishings. So we've got different priorities. They are going to make four. Okay. So the lumberjack is going to do that. So the lumberjack not only chops the trees, they also process it as well. Okay, so that is... <laughs> that's the first tutorial. It's pretty straightforward, I guess. So we'll jump on to the next one. So as I said before, that not everything is currently working. Uh, not everything's in the game. It does state that here. So we'll jump into the next tutorial, I think, which is food and buildings. Okay, so now we're going to do some um, production of uh, food and buildings. So it says here, all the lings will need two meals each day, but it's you who will choose which types of food to craft. So the first lesson is that they will always eat the best food first. I like the fact they have little conversations. And the best food will always have the best happiness bonus. Each time they eat, they receive points in happiness, which will help to keep them happy. If they don't have food, they will lose happiness points. Um, at midday and during the evening is when they will look for food. So what else? This, this tutor will already start with a farmer. I don't know what these uh, creatures are. I guess these are some kind of portal. I think he's going to walk through there in a second. Um, so we know about that. Um, our cookers can also do the same actions as farmers, but not work on animal corrals. Is that? A, I'm not too sure what that is. I'm not... <laughs> I'm not not really aware of what that word is. I could be just maybe having a dumb moment, but there we are. Cookers are an upgrade from farmers. Ah, okay. There are a few ways to get raw food, to craft meals, plantations, hunting, and animal corrals. What is that word? I'm going to have to look that up. Um, let's check about plantations first. Okay. This is the easiest one because you always start with a few types of food to plant, like cabbages, at the beginning of a new community 
you will need one type of food you will want to plant to start the new plantation and each plantation has three phases. So, <laughs> it's quite a bit going on here isn't it? And the third phase the plantation will be ready to harvest. Okay I, I get it it's kind of a growth stage. Okay so let's select the plantation. Okay so we're going to go for cabbage. Place it in the cart so your farmers can work faster when they are harvesting. Now, does it need to be placed on certain ground? Does, doesn't say. How big does it need to be? Just one? Okay, I guess so. Your farmers will start working there to help it grow. Okay, three phases. For this tutorial, we already have one plantation ready to harvest, and you can see near your cart a corn plantation. Okay, let's... Where is that? Oh yeah, that is one square. So how much food is that going to produce, I guess? Select the harvest button, which is up here. Okay, okay, that's just a generic harvest button, I see. So your farmers are going to go and do that. Okay, let's... Research is where you can pay to have more options for your community, like crafting different items. Okay, let's check that first. So there's an actual research. Excellent. Let's just go through this. So we've got animal breed. Now we can build animal corral. Oh, okay, so we, you can actually research and, and get other things, which is kind of cool. So we've got chickens, pigs, cows. I can't scroll down, but there's different shops as well. So we need stone brick, wood plates, and fiber plants. I'm guessing we have been given all those um, resources. Choose a good place, it'll become green when the spot is available. And I believe R rotates it, it certainly does. We'll drop you in there. So now, what, do we have to go and find the resources? You don't. Okay, that's fine. So do we, do we have any of the stuff yet? We got the, oh, here we go. I can see it. It's, it's hovering in the air. It's a little bit faded out. That needs something around it just to see it a little bit better. So we've got the stone, and I'm guessing we've got the planks. So we'll just have to wait for them to do that. So it, it, it is, in, in essence, just like every other city building game, in a, in a sense. But the fact that they see you sell your community, I guess... There's a little bit more of a challenge and you have 30 days to do it. So it'll be interesting when we see that side of it. And there's combat. But there is lots of like little neat things. Like like I said, they're having conversations and it's like full on information on... What the heck is that? Fireworks? Why have we got fireworks? <laughs> oh, fireworks when they're hammering. Wow, that is strange. What are they saying? Have a look. Oh, I'm feeling better in my job. I just got... I didn't quite catch that, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay, awesome. Now your farmers will be able to work on there. Just like the plantations, each animal corral will support a number of animals. Remember, it also has three phases, just like plantations. Excellent. Um, but there is something that reminds me of Wim, Rim World. I can never say that word easily. Um, Basically, if they get unhappy, they will start setting fire to things, so we need, we need wells, and apparently builders are the only people that can put the fires out, so that's that's worth knowing. Um, also, there is uh, natural disasters like meteors as well, so that's, uh, it's quite interesting. So there's a, there is a lot to this game that we're yet to discover, I suppose. Um, so now we're going to look at combat and diplomacy, so... Um, our company, Community Inc., is not the only one who is trying to dominate all portals. Uh -huh, that is a portal. F from the Flying Islands. Okay, this is interesting. We have other creature creatures and races. Besides you, there are more, more eight creatures that you will find. Okay, that doesn't quite make sense. Um, Blue Fox, Mush, <laughs> Mush Face, Magic Oak, Dark Panther, Stone Golem. Okay, we won't read through all those. They can be friendly or not. It will depend on your actions. You will be able to make business with all of them, but you must have eyes open when you <laughs> accept a contract or make a trade. Okay, interesting. So let's just kind of skip through these and we'll go through the actual train itself. So we've got Diplomacy. So these are, ah, these are the other eight people. So we can talk to them. Or if you could, now this, 
This is interesting. This now reminds me of civilization. A trade agreement can help. Okay, they accept it. Select the building list button. Shop A. Basic place to sell items. You also require a trader to make the negotiations. Okay, cool. Build in a valid place. Uh, we can place near the warehouse or the portal. So don't worry about not having any roads. Okay. We'll truck that in there. And as you can see, just like the buildings here, they've got the roads and the lanterns. So you can actually build things up quite nicely. Can we just like run off over here? The maps are fairly big. But it says floating island, so I'm guessing this is a floating island. So we're just going to wait for them to do that. What is that resource? I'm not sure what that is. Oh. Okay, so what else do we have to do? Let us wait for the builders. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's just a little bit of patience, Vapor. A little bit of patience. We're going to get some fireworks in a second once they start <laughs> once they start building it. So they're only doing one kind of crop field of, of each type. Well, there's a couple of these cabbages. But it'll be interesting to see how much food they produce. Because it doesn't really tell you that in the tutorial. It doesn't, it doesn't give you any information. And obviously I can't click on these at the moment. So when we do go into a series, we're going to have to play it fairly slow just to kind of get a real understanding before we kind of wipe everyone out. Can I click any of these menus? No. We have a 10 messages apparently. Where are we at? Okay, they're currently building it. I love the little conversations, but the thing is when I z ro kind of scroll my mouse wheel in, you can see it jumps a fair bit. And it's a little bit, yeah, it's a little bit too jumpy. You can, you can miss what's being said. Okay. We'll just follow exactly what it's saying here. So, select a well, storage items. Build it near the house, so if there's a fire anywhere, your builders will be able to get there faster. But are, these, are these the houses here? I'm guessing they are. So we'll drop that in there. And we'll wait for that. Can I click on this? No. Look what the conversations these people are having. <laughs> this love, they're actually cute little people. Boring place, I'm leaving. Oh, thank you, Mr. Fox. That's very kind of you. So they actually have an opinion about your community as well. Are they all saying the same thing? Are they just having a chat? I think those speech bubbles need to be a little bit bigger. I'll have to have a look in the settings to see if I can make them more visible. Because it is easy to miss them. But I think they could be quite funny. They could add some real jokey stuff in there. What's happening here? Why is nobody building it? Oh, there we go. It must have been busy elsewhere. Bingo. So they can extinguish fires. As we saw in the first tutorial, they're also the only ones that can build objects on ground and construction buildings. And there we go. There's a fire. Oh, you can see inside. The bed is on fire. <laughs> I wonder if you can decorate these rooms. I think you can. I think I read something that you can place different objects in different rooms. That is awesome. So now we're going a little bit Sim City, not Sim City, yeah, The Sims. That is really cool. Kill the magic minion. It's a small creature. Select your warrior. Okay, let me try that again. Let me pause the game. Mm -mm. Select your warrior and then click in anywhere on your map to make him go there or attack someone. If you don't find your warrior, there's a button that will track all warriors in the village. It's See, it's in orange, which I'm guessing is this. If the warrior dies, okay. Toggle warrior's location. Oh my goodness. That definitely <laughs> makes it stand out. You, you cannot miss it. Are you the warrior then? You must be. We got the game pause, so not a lot can be done. It won't let me click on them. It's a small creature. Select your warrior. It won't let me select my warrior other than... Oh, there we go. We've got it. Maybe there's a little bit of an issue with um, where you actually click. Um, like the hitbox. So what am I killing now? Where is it? It's a small creature. That That's useful. I'm going to be able to see it as a rabbit. I'm 
literally have no clue what I'm looking for. Any ideas, people? Because <laughs> I can't see anything. I'm, I'm assuming it's near the base, but... Oh yeah, you're one of our workers. Yes, you are. You're one of our links. Hmm. I have no clue what I am looking for. What's it going to look like? The magic minion. Oh, you'd assume it'd stand out, right? Let me zoom out. Have they highlighted it for us? I don't think they have. And I'm assuming it wouldn't be, like, really far away. He doesn't tell you... If your warrior dies or attacks someone else, then you have to start over. Well, I have absolutely no clue where this thing is. And he says it's a small creature, which is probably not going to help the situation. Hmm. Well, that's a little bit weird. Do you know what? I think, <laughs> I think I'm not going to kind of dwell on it too much. I think we'll just... We'll probably end the episode here, because I don't know if that's a bug or not. Because it's difficult to kind of figure out... Oh, is it this thing here? We'll soon find out. That that could have been done with Highline, if, if it is this thing. Alarm is on. Someone or something is attacking your links, or they might just be in danger. If there is an enemy attacking, you can click here... Okay. Well, look, they've all got their axes and stuff. <laughs> um, set a commuter and alert, and everyone in the centre of the village... Wait, let me try that again. Set your community is in alert, and everyone is in centre of the village. Workers don't fight, ne never, only warriors. Okay. Alright. Click on the alarm button to cancel. Aha. Okay, so this is a request from the Magic Oaks, a contract. They need 20 wood plates. You will receive it from all creatures. Okay. So there's, there's like all, all sorts of things to actually do. It, it's like... It's not just your bog standard kind of city builder. Uh, contract menus. There is other things. So we've got 10 minutes to do this. As you can see, we have all the items needed to complete the contract, so let's do this. After completing the contract, we will receive the reward, which is $50 and plus 5 reputation. So we ended our contract, received some sur um, some surplus, and we're all... Is that supposed to say supplies, maybe? Oh, the stone ones will not be happy with this. Remember that some creatures have troubles between themselves. It will be impossible to please everyone. Okay, so I guess if you trade with some people, it's going to upset some other people, which is uh, slightly unfortunate. But that's that, that's kind of the the last tutorial. So I guess for the next episode, we'll jump in and try and figure it out. We're probably going to be winging it a lot. I'm really interested to know what you think. And as I said earlier, if you want to be named after one of the links, just um, drop it in the comments. And I would be happy to do that. But thank you very much for watching. So until next time, as always, take care. Yo he cantar esta canción, yo he cantar esta canción para mi gente.